hello and welcome back guys and in this video we'll be taking a quick moment to make our home page responsive currently it looks good on my computer screen but what happens when we or user visits our application on the mobile phone so i'll open my developer tools by pressing ctrl shift i or f12 now if i click toggle device toolbar this is how it looks on a Pixel 2 device. You can see our section is just looking thin and the buttons are all squashed together. Now we have some other devices here. We have the iPhone X, we have the Galaxy S5 and if we put it in this responsive mode, you can always drag and adjust the viewport width for different screen sizes. Now the viewport width is simply that section of the device window that displays the browser or web page's content. So, Currently, the viewport width is 866 and it doesn't really look good on smaller screens. So, we'll be using this video to fix that. I'll just check the iPhone X here. Now, to do that, we'll be making use of media queries. And to use a media query, we go like so at media. Now, I'll just type this out and explain it when I'm done. Max width of 768 pixels. Now, Whenever our device hits 768 pixels and down, that's why we have a max width property here. It doesn't go above these 768 pixels. We want to apply whatever styles we have written here or we'll be writing here. So before I proceed, I'll just create some variables in my settings for the breakpoints. Because essentially, this is a breakpoint. This 768 pixels variable we'll have there. So for breakpoints, breakpoints we'll have a large breakpoint lg dash breakpoint and this will be 10 24 pixels we'll have a medium breakpoint and it will be 768 pixels we'll have a small breakpoint and it will be 641 pixels We'll have an extra small breakpoint and that will be 480 pixels extra small xs now so we'll be using this medium breakpoint over in home.scss i just thought it'd be nice to have everything here even though we'll be using all of them right now so what do i want to do when our viewport hits this breakpoint i want to increase the width of this transparent dark section and the height just to make it cover the entire viewport so we'll select the home which is this div here and then this section is the part with that transparent or it's just what holds our home component content which is this one here with the transparent background so selecting the section first thing i want to do is i want to reduce the padding a bit so the padding Top and bottom will be normal, left will be zero, left and right will be normal. We want a width of 100% just to make it as wide as the viewport width and the height of 100% also. So let's see how that's looking. It's looking better now. And for every device from 768 pixels downwards, it's going to apply that style see when we hit that 768 breakpoint it just applies so i mean we could apply breakpoints for maybe from 768 and above or to 1024 but we'll be doing that in this video now that's that and i'm sure it looks good on almost every device here very good so um notice how in the original application when we hover over a button as the color changes we also get a very nice little shadow there that makes the button look like it's standing out of the content so let's add that shadow on hover also so to add that on the play button whenever we hover I want to add this box shadow of this value here and I know it's quite long but this is the value or before I add that, I'll simply take this box shadow variable and, and put it in a variable. So 
this is the variable here we have a variable called shadow and this is the value of the shadow so we'll be applying this shadow to our buttons on hover so whenever we hover over the play button we want to give it a box shadow of shadow which is that variable so shadow and just copy that because i'll be using it also for the auth for the login buttons and the, for the login and logout button so box shadow for the login button login button hover and also box shadow on hover for the sign up button hover state so in the application if i hover over it notice the shadow comes it's kind of subtle but it's there if you look you'll see it and also on these guys and the one last thing i want to do is Notice how we have a little spacing at the edges here that makes these buttons like kind of move inside a bit. Let's fix that. So on the on the alt buttons container, we have a justify content property of space around. So the space around property just gives them equal spacing at the edges. We want to change that property now from space around to space between just to put the space between them so not this and that fixes it so it looks better now and then the last thing this time will be to add this nice or the little border we have here the little curved border we have in the original one around the edges so to do that on this section I'll just add the border radius of Five pixels and that adds the nice little border radius we have around the edges and uh, I think that's that okay I want to move this variable or this color to a variable orange and do we have that variable yes we do so I'll just change the name to orange so that's the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. Please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for staying with me.